Sadly, a vocabulary workshop level D in this edition. Bang, bada bang, bang, bada bang, bada bang, 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 Okay, let's get on with uh, today's Unit 3, a polar controversy. Let's get started. <clears throat> First up, the vocabulary words. A bridge, verb, adherent, noun, and adjective. Altercation is a noun. Cherubic is an adjective. Condone is a verb. Descent is a verb and a noun. Aluminium, aminient is an adjective. Exercise is a verb and a fabricate is a verb. Gluttony is a noun and every is an adjective. Marauder is a noun. Popper is a noun. Pillar is a verb and rift is a noun. Simplest was a noun and so is a modern verb. Terminate is a verb and then trite is an adjective. Usurp is a verb and that is it. Bam! Yeah! Let's get started with a polar controversy. Now, what is one of the most important things about this is that there is just a lot of evidence. Firstly, this is about the story of two explorers, Frederick Cook and Robert E. Perry. And so that is how it happens. Now today, traveling by air it greatly abridges the time it once took to go from the North Pole. And that's still a long time. These guys claim that they have been to the North Pole in the first time, and those who have attempted it had to survive hazardous conditions such as rifts in the sink, drifting sea ice, and also bitter winds that made anyone chilly to the bone. Then, toward the adventures utterly sought the end to the end of the decade, two eminent explorers, the Frederick Cook and Robert E. Perry, who were friends and co-travelers, each claimed to have done so to find the North Pole. But after all, first cannot be achieved twice. And now there, this is the start of religious debating. The two men shared their passionate experiences with their own, and they even diverged into attitudes and methods. Cook took a keen interest in the neighborhood around him, and even ex and even like socialized with them, and like made friends, and then just found out more about them. Left forever. Well, <laughs> well, um. In contrast, Perry, who had undertaken several Arctic journeys, would have acted like a marauder. Like a mod marauder would, and would condone those guys in ways that no one else would do to this day. And pilfering, like pilfering their gravesite for those remains, and then just selling off those remains. Because they're worth a lot. However, Cook left his base later in the camp on Anatok in Greenland in February of 1908. And he claimed that he reached the pole on April 21st after enduring two months of those conditions. And also after coming back exhausted and rat and emaciated, he had little semblance to an actual human being. And after a bit more and more and more little debates and little fights, Perry was irate at hearing that this achievement happened a year ago. And Cook, he later accused Cook of fabricating the accounts very, very, very fakely accounts of such past achievements as successful achievements of his achievement onto a mountain summit. Cook was actually hard to think that his former friend and colleague would, would try to usurp his claim. Their friendship was now terminated. Their friendship between these two were now terminated, and thus began a long. Uh, thus began a very very long uh, altercation. And usually that is not good. And that is not a good sign. This place might have been used as a trite a long time for this debate. And also they were never proper at all. It 
the, the medical society, all, every science society, the science society decided to grant a bill and a, like basically an award to approve that this guy did something to Perry and passed the bill honoring him. However, many dissented. However, many dissented, like saying that this guy was remaining unconvinced by his so-called proofs. And now of that, there is a lot more. There's no Chubik evidence. Like, some people could have been Chubik, and then the ugly guys could have been Chubik if it was an animal. And nothing was adherent by then. Both explorers have their adherence, and a question of who reached the pole first remains unanswered. Also, Robert E. Perry's name is commonly, commonly well used, commonly... Is commonly associated with achieving the North Pole discovery. Cook's claim has proven hard to exercise, exorcise. And here's the one reason. More recent explorers who have went to the North Pole have been able to confirm Perry's claims and vivid imagination and vivid descriptions of the place itself. That's pretty strong. And that is the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys didn't enjoy this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Shout out. Peace. Pew.